Hey guys and welcome back. I'm Rachel O'Leary and today we're going to do a quick and dirty video on what is in my nerd kit. Now what is a nerd kit you may be asking yourselves? Well recently I've been doing a lot of primitive camping, truck camping, and backpacking into local waterways. Uh, recently it was in the Rocky Mountains in order to look for specific fish and test the water. So this is a kit that I've put together for me to carry that's as lightweight as possible uh, but still has some equipment for me to get some really what I think are very interesting results. Uh, so we'll start with what's on the outside. I have my little DJI Osmo action cam on a little tripod. Uh, this is a camera that allows me to shoot underwater footage as well as traditional footage. I also have some gaffers tape wrapped around the side. Um, for instance, I was recently at Axolotl Lakes doing a video, which will be coming out at some point in the next few weeks, and the water was still frozen over, so I was able to break a hole in the ice, and then I taped my tripod to a fallen tree in order to get some underwater footage to see what was going on in there. So this thing's been really useful. It's super light, it's super tiny, uh, and it just works great. I have a water bottle. Uh, sometimes I also have bear spray attached to my carabiner. Um, I have a secondary pouch uh, that I can use for putting in soil samples or things like that that maybe I want to investigate more with my microscope once I get home. Um, I don't generally collect plants but uh, in some areas it is legal to do so so I may also if I collect any mosses or things like that, um, based on legality, they might go in that pouch as well. It keeps it separate from the equipment that is within the bag. Inside my Mystery Ranch hip bag, I have Ziplocs, paper towels, and a Sharpie marker. Uh, this again is if I were to remove any invasive species of plant or collect anything, I can sort of label, um, what it is, where it's from, what the elevation is, uh, things like that. Uh, just helps me keep things straight. I've been doing a whole lot lately. I have a bandana for tick protection <laughs> for my hair. I have my API Aquaspin. This is the machine I've shown you guys recently on my channel um, that I use to take water readings. I always have a couple of their uh, single-use freshwater discs. Um, I find it really interesting to see the difference in parameters. Even within closer geographical regions, there's a lot of variability. I have a TDS pen. I have the pipettes for filling the Aquaspin discs. I have a mask for COVID safety. Um, I have a uh, alcohol prep wipe. I have some Benadryl because I am allergic to bees and got to be careful. In the front pouch, I have a pocket knife, which is always invaluable. I have the charging cord for the Aquaspin, a battery bank, and some earbuds in case I need to review footage to see, see what we've gotten. Um, and then based on where I'm going, I generally buy these mini naturalist nerd kits. Uh, for instance, when I'm traveling in Pennsylvania, it's just a guide to the wildlife birds and plants in the area. I mean, they're not super comprehensive, but what's nice is on the back, it shows you the region. It gives you some of the state parks. It gives you basic information on some of the plants. They're not very expensive. They're waterproof, so they're great for taking on the water um, when I do my canoe and kayak trips. But I have a Pennsylvania one. I have Montana because I was just there. I have Great Lakes. I have Southwest Desert, I have Smoky Mountains, and I have New England. All of those are trips that are planned for this year. So those fit in nicely on the top or the back of the bag in order for me to um, just have little guides. I also keep my cell phone with me, and I rarely have service where we're going. It's, they're generally pretty remote areas. But what's nice is I can pull up my notepad app, and I can take notes there as well syncs it to my email so rather than get having paper that can get wet that you know is not <laughs> not a really takes up too much space I can just take notes on my phone and keep track of things that way um, and then I always take polarized sunglasses for seeing into the water it makes a huge difference um, 
on my Sony, if, if I'm not hiking a terrible distance, usually it's several miles into wherever we're going, then I will bring my Sony with a polarized lens on that as well. Um, but that's basically it. I try and keep it pretty simple. Um, with this level of kit, I can get accurate water readings, total dissolved solid readings. I can collect samples of soil to have analyzed later. I can get underwater footage, out of water footage, and just have an idea of what I'm looking at. Now, going into a trip, I generally do a lot of research on where I think I'm going to be going and what I might possibly find so that I have a little bit better of an idea of how to structure the video and have a plan to it. But sometimes there are surprises, as you'll see in the upcoming videos. Anyway, this is my nerd kit. I carry this on every hike that I go on to. I have uh, a full backpack that I generally carry too. And the only thing I'm not showing here that I usually have is a net, and that's because I don't know where I put it right now. It's just a net that uh, fits into this side loop. Uh, this whole kit is very lightweight and gets me tons of info. I hope you guys are gonna really enjoy seeing the upcoming videos. I know I'm really excited about it. Uh, historically, this channel has all been about aquarium-specific education, but I'm really excited to take this to a new place and share more about waterways. And I really think that this style of video and this format of video could be applied to anywhere I go in the world. And to me, that is super exciting because I can't wait to travel more. As always, thanks for your guys' continued support. Um, it is possible that there could be gear reviews or things like that. If you're interested in that kind of stuff, let me know. This is not a camping channel. But camping and boating is a very large part of what I want to do to be able to get this information for you guys. As always, thanks for your continued support, and I'll see you in the next video.